broadcast message. <laughs> Can I check my my my, my manual? Well, viewers, obviously the clear winner is the Samsung Galaxy X4. It's a new dawn in Africa, and our enormous potential and opportunities have been harnessed by One Bank. One Bank stands strong as the bank of choice for Africans and Africa-related businesses. UBA. With a fast-growing presence across Africa and in key global financial centers, UBA has a wide range of innovative products and services in retail, wholesale, and commercial banking tailored to the needs of individuals and businesses in Africa, delivering convenience to customers and facilitating payments, remittances, trade, and economic development. United Bank for Africa, UBA. It's the one bank uniting African people and businesses with the world. So, make the wise choice today. Bank with UBA, Africa's global bank. Adia, are you sure you and your family have been fast in this one? You are all still looking so fresh. My family and I always take years. Yummy nourishing Cadbury Bonvita at Sahur to start our fast and at Easter every evening when we break our fast. Also, this season is about sharing. So from my family to yours, Ramadan Karim. From Cadbury Bonvita. Yummy, yummy, yum, yum. Non-stop vitality. The sixth edition of the Nigerian art competition has reached its peak with the emergence of 12 finalists. Nigerian Breweries PLC, in partnership with the African Artist Foundation, presented the finalists in Lagos. The winner stands a chance of winning 2 million naira, while the first and second runners up win 1.5 million and 1 million naira, respectively. Our correspondent Oralua Shonibari files this report. Art can be described as an unspoken language. It is through art that images of ideas, moments and feelings are expressed. And Nigerian Beeries PLC has teamed up again with the African Artists Foundation to expose talents of budding artists with the National Art Competition. The National Arts Competition is one of our strategic corporate initiatives towards youth empowerment through talent development. It is a platform designed to promote the skills of talented artists as well as discover creative talents across the art sector to enable them realize their dreams. This press briefing in Lagos is to announce the 12 finalists shortlisted from over 100 entries for the sixth edition of the competition. We were keen to um, promote and develop best practice in contemporary art and we felt the best way to do it was to actually support the artists and find the production of the work. So the artists are thinking about what will be, what work is pretty or what work will sell or what work would, you know, the general public find to be um, interesting, but rather what is really powerful and personal. And um, this year we've we received so many strong conceptual entries for the National Art Competition. The theme for this year's edition, Identity, is one thought up to explore the various ways diverse cultures in Nigeria can drive for social change through art. Also, it's, it's very important in terms of documentation and preservation of our unique cultural life. I mean, every nation has its own identity, every nation has its own culture, every nation has its own tradition which are distinct and uh, separate from that of any other nation. And the arts helps to document and preserve our culture and our way of life. So, even though a winner emerges at the end of the day, the victory really belongs to art. Oralu Ashonibare, reporting for Channels Television News. Now, have you ever heard of the Yaba Industrial Estate? Now, it's actually the first industrial estate established in the West African sub region, rather, in 1954. For years now, the estate has not been functioning to its full capacity as a result of several challenges 
and this has affected businesses located within it. Our correspondent Ihochi Kechuku, who visited there, takes a look at the current situation and what plans government have for it. Etisola, now you're talking. From a distance, apart from the total sign at this entrance, one may not readily tell of the presence of this industrial estate right in the heart of Yaba, Lagos. It's been here since 1954. We're here to find out about the past, its present circumstances, and what the future holds for it. The Yaba Industrial Estate was established in 1954 by the federal government and in 1967, the then federal authority handed it over to the Lagos state government. The premier estate is the first to be established not just in Nigeria, but also in the whole of West Africa to promote small-scale businesses. Mr. Surajuddin Jaji is one of the businessmen to get here, and he has some stories to tell. Towards the tail end of 1983, they allocated this place to us. And since then, we've been here. As at then, there was normalcy. When you produce, in fact, this place, you will see people coming in, going out, buying something. But now it is not so because of economic depression. And quite a depression it is that brought a downturn in the fortunes of the estate. Some structural dilapidation is evident, but this is just one on the list of many challenges. Firstly, the infrastructure. Because all our drainages, the roads, the toilets, they are all in bad shape. This power problem is a major problem we are facing in this estate. There is no power at all. For the past three weeks now, perpetually there was, there was no power. The other one is government's attention. I say government, when I mean government, when I say government attention, well, the government directs its attention. Things happen there. And this is the first industrial estate in the country and it needs to be maintained as an heritage and a legacy for generations to come. But even in the midst of all the gloom, there are some bright spots. Mr. Bodechina Wokulo has been turning out high quality home and office furniture and accessories for the past six years. Our greatest challenge here, in addition to power, is also financing. Soft loan. Nobody runs an industry also on, on a short-term loan. Nobody does. And because of the enterprise being shown by the residents and missed all the walls, the troubles have recently come to the attention of persons who could be of help. It's possible, for example, to create... Uh, steady power supply here, which is the problem from all of the manufacturers we talk to. They're doing business, they're producing, but they all could do with cheaper power. I came here first to see what is on ground, then we'll go back to our offices and uh, see how we can plan the redevelopment of this place with the inclusion of the original stakeholders here. And, and then design a future for this place. We also need to make sure that the units are used for design purpose. Some of those units are being deployed for some untoward purposes. All these issues need to be addressed. The expectation is that its residents would get a boost to the enterprise and thus in turn should give a similar boost to commerce, industry and even employment in Lagos. Good news then for the economy of the center of excellence. Ihochi Ikechuku, Channels Television News. Etisola, now you're talking. Well, our business news is next. First Bank, truly the first.
Welcome to Business News. Nigeria's foreign exchange reserves have fallen 2.24% month on month to $46.96 billion. Data from the Central Bank of Nigeria shows that the reserves were valued at $48.04 billion as at June the 28th. They had risen by about 